Welcome to this video. In this video, we'll introduce a new package called Shiny CSS Loaders. This package is created by Andrew Sally and it allows to easily add animated spinner or loaders to apps. Something like this. An example use case could be animator spinners showing up when the plot is taking some time to load or when user changes input values and plot recalculates or re-renders itself. With spinner, the page would not be idle and user will know that some processing is happening behind the scenes. Let us look at the code. I have a single file shiny app code. We'll begin with loading the required packages, including shiny, plotly, shiny CSS loaders. If you do not have this package installed, go ahead and install the package using install.packages function and then load the shiny CSS loaders package. In the UI, I have the plotly output function to display the plot. Note, we have not yet added the spinner. We'll be adding it later on. In the server section, we have the code for a plotly scatter plot using render plotly. I have added a five seconds intentional delay to the plot. This is for demonstration of uh, to show how the spinner would work when it takes time for plot to lo load or any delay in processing. Let's run the app. We get a blank screen, obviously, because of the five seconds delay we added, but how would user know that something is happening in the background? All we need is to wrap the output UI element within function called with spinner. Let's rerun the app. And now we have this nice looking spinner while the plot loads. Here is another example where plot re-renders when user changes bin width value using the slider input. Let's have a quick look at the code. In the UI, we have the plot output to display the plot. Notice that it is wrapped inside the with spinner function. In the server side, we have the render plot, which uses ggplot function to create the histogram and the histogram changes with the change in bin, bin width value. 